Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I mean, it's money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got uh, Thursday Night Football, Washington Commanders going into uh, PA, play uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, plus seven, lines opened up at total 45 and a half, and Commanders as the underdog, plus 270. Uh, you can find them at plus four. Or Eagles best would be minus three and a half. Total went up forty nine and a half. And uh command is still the underdog plus one seventy. Uh weather. They said uh eight PM there'd be some showers, so like eight to nine around there, nine thirty. Little showers, windy, fifteen miles an hour. And then from then on Rain should slow down, and uh, wind should slow down to like 10. But uh, it ain't going to be the greatest weather. It's cold out here, too. I'm in New York, but uh, Long Island. Uh, little stats, key stats. I like to look at this team rankings. Uh, points per game, Washington, 29, ranked third. Philly, they're giving up 17, 18 points, ranked fifth. Uh, that's right here. Philly, 26 points per game. That's ranked seventh. And uh, they're giving up 22, ranked 12th. Third down conversions. I like to look at a bunch of key stats. I basically read through all this before I judge the games, do a couple, look at the line movement, all these different things. But uh, third down conversions, Washington's ranked fifth. Eagles defense ranked 13th. Philly's offense, rank 15th, 40%, just about. And uh, Washington, 23rd. Uh, everyone's kind of leaning towards Philly winning. Kind of think so, too. Uh, Russian. Russian yards per game. Washington's ranked fourth. They just got their running back uh, back, too. Philly ranked fifth in defense, giving up 100 yards, which is pretty good. And, uh, you know, they got Saquon, a beast. He ranked two in the NFL right behind the Ravens, uh, again, 176 yards a game. Washington struggling in run defense, ranked 28th, giving up 142. So with the weather, even with weather, you know, these quarterbacks can throw the ball anyway, but uh, – I think Saquon's going to have a big game. Passing-wise, Jane Daniels rank 11th, uh, 223 yards a game. Philly's defense has been doing real well. Safeties, cornerbacks, uh, rank third, giving up 173 yards. So it should be a test for uh, the rookie. And uh, Philly's been getting 197 yards, ranked 20th. You got to remember, though, they got a great run game, too. So that fact is in. And then uh, Washington's defense, pass defense, ranked fifth, giving up 182 yards. Uh, both kick is pretty good. Uh, one of them, I'm not sure which team, I forget. Uh, the kicker got hurt, and they just signed somebody else. I think it was Washington. Uh, turnovers. Uh, Daniels has been real good with turnovers. Giveaways ranked number one. Uh, not so much with uh, with Hurst, sixteenth. Penalties, big thing in props. I realized this a while ago. A lot of plays, especially if you watch the games, if it, they'll cash, they set up and be a holding call. Or big thing this year is uh. They're calling that man in motion or uh, run play options, uh, man downfield. 
so I'll be calling him back. But uh, they're ranked 14th, Washington, so that's, you know, middle of the pack. And uh, Philly's been pretty good this year. They're only ranked 6th. Time of possession, both about the same, 50%, ranked 15th, 54%, ranked 4th. Uh, I got some play props to get into them. All right, first up, uh, A.J. Brown, first quarter receiving yards over 14 and a half. Uh, FanDuel. Uh, Washington overall, fifth receiving yard, 16th. That's full game, but uh, first quarter and plus money play is always about a half unit or less. Uh, it's clear this the last four games. Before that, he was hurt, uh, came back and stuff, but... Uh, you know, he's, if they do one-on-one -on -one coverage, I mean, you could play his full game yards so a long reception. I just decided to go first quarter, get it over with quick. Uh, just say, yeah, he's exceeded four and a half. Oh, it's not four and a half. They got four and a half at like minus 220. Nine of his last 10, but he's cleared this in the last four games. Uh, Washington runs a lot of man coverage. You know, they really shouldn't, but they're going to do it a couple times today, and A.J. Brown eats it apart. Uh, he'll run a slant or just that go route, and uh, Hurst has been throwing the ball real well. Uh, he should be able to go over this one catch, two catches, hopefully, and uh, we'll get a catch real quick. All right, next up... Uh, I went Saquon Barkley rushing yards. Now, if you look, FanDuel, DraftKings, I know they offer them Thursday nights. Uh, Sunday football, you usually get like one or two, but they give uh, odds boost. I like to use, they, they do same game parlay and parlay odds boost, but uh, that's because they just want you to do parlays, you know what I mean? Throw your money away. But uh, I use the odds boost and... Uh, I feel comfortable boosting this up. Like, I mean, if you can't get an ounce boost, you know what I mean? I feel like he's going to get 100 yards. Maybe do a receiving and rushing together. But uh, he's cleared this, what, 7 out of 9? Uh, I think it's going to be a competitive game. So, uh, and with the weather, possibly you could run it, run it a little more. But, um, yeah, he should be able to go over it easy. Uh, I was going to do his receiving yards, but, you know, sometimes he'll get the ball, a couple of receptions, other times he won't. Uh, Washington overall, ranked 28th, like I said earlier, ranked 29th to the running back position. He's exceeded this number in seven of his last nine games, averaging 110. Like I said, if you can't get the boost, I feel comfortable with it at the next line. Uh even up to like 100, but I uh, try to get in the 80s. All right, so uh, Devontae Smith receiving yards, 49 and a half. Uh, got it at minus 150. Vandal DraftKings. Washington overall, pretty good DBs and safeties, ranked fifth. Receiver position ranked 16th. They're better on the uh, t uh, tight ends and stuff and the running backs. Uh, last game, you know, he wasn't utilized. He was, uh, there was something wrong with him. He's a real small guy, so he does get banged around. But uh, a couple great catches the game before that. He's definitely capable of going over this. You know, as you see, 60, 70 yards. Uh, if you don't want to bet the minus 150, you can. I would go up. I still think he'll go over it. Uh, I'm just big believer of all lines. Head to head, 100%. This goes back to last year with 78, 99 yards. So uh, he's healthy. He was limited in practice all week, but he's off the uh, injured list. Not questionable, nothing. So uh, he should be good to go. Averaging, uh, what, five receptions a game, six and a half targets. Averaging 23 yards. 
So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Exceeded 39 and a half. 16 was last 19. I don't know why it's a 39 and a half. You can get it at 39 and a half, but it's like minus 400. But, uh, yeah, let's get it. It's Monte Smith. So, uh, Kenneth Gainwell, running back, uh, behind Barkley, rushing yards, 13 and a half. Uh, 125 in DraftKings. Now, he doesn't get many options. Uh, many, many, uh, what the fuck, uh, attempts. Duh, uh, cleared this four out of the last five. He's averaging uh, three attempts a game. He had seven this game, five, five, and 13. Uh, blowout versus Dallas, so he had more. If the game gets away from them, he's obviously going to get more. But even in these close games, he's getting a couple of attempts. You know, sometimes he'll come in, it might not be until the fourth quarter before the half or something, but he'll. I got a couple of attempts. I was gonna go with his receiving yards, but I just like this number thirteen and a half. Uh, I think he's, you know, Barkley's gonna get a little tired, bust out a big run. And they'll put game well in, and uh, he should be able to go over this. So let's get it. Kenneth Gainwell, rushing yards, thirteen and a half. Uh, first quarter receiving yards, eleven and a half. Like I said earlier, uh, plus money and uh, first quarters, I do half unit. So you got a great uh, run defense, ranked fifth, 11th to uh, running back position. Uh, you know, if they get two possessions, you should easily go over this. Even with one possession, a couple carries, as long as, you know, they don't go three and out, should be a done deal. Uh, 27th. 48 yards. Uh, Carolina, you know, Arizona is decent. Decent defense went over it. But uh, I'm not expecting them to get a lot. You know, I just think the number's low because he just got back. They got Saquon's at like 24, 25. But I uh, should be able to go over it. So let's get it. Robinson. Uh, Terry McLaurin, receiving yards, 49 and a half, once, uh, 150 draft king, uh, FanDuel, once again, uh, comfortable with it, moved up again, he's been killing it, number one receiver, uh, so just get it in that soft spot, 50, 60, uh, it's good to live bet plays. He's exceeded 50 yards, 10 of his last 13 games, averaging 65. Once the game starts, lines will come down a little bit. See the Eagles get the ball first. You'll be able to get, uh, you know, some rushing yards lower, some receiving yards lower, especially if they miss a pass. Even like, let's say the second, second time before the second possession, if they miss a pass or something, the lines will start going down. Um, things ain't lining up right, so we got for live bets. Uh, while I'm talking here, hit that thumbs up. New viewers, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can get my live bets. Uh, anything I do, I try to give it to you, keep it as transparent as possible. Uh, if you got any extra time, leave a comment, likes and comments help get the videos out there. So well as some interaction between us, uh, been YouTube in a couple months now. Don't get paid for it. So uh, the feedback and, and just the communication makes it worth it. But I uh, appreciate everyone. Yeah, so McLaurin, he's going to go way over this. Uh, comfortable in the 50s, 60s. But I uh, always try to get him as low as he can. Philly do, does have good DBs, safeties. Overall ranked third to the wide receiver, ranked seventh. But uh, he's going to get his touches. All right, so I went uh, Zach Ertz. I did his long reception. I have it on receiving. I was just to see this. Overall, ranked third. Receiving yards to the tight end, the ranked fourth. 
Uh, under 15 and a half. He's been under in seven out of 10 games. You know, there are Washington is like fifth in the league in, in uh, air yards. And then Philly's like third or something, or something like that in defensive against air yards. So it's going to be a little, a little back and forth. Uh, we don't know how McDaniels is going to do prime time. You know, he's a rookie. He's been doing really good. So uh, we shall see. But, uh, you know, stats and data saying this guy's going to go under. Uh, he had four drops last game. A couple games ago, a couple drops. A couple games before that, a couple drops. So he could be in the doghouse. Um, failed to exceed 15 and a half. Long reception, 12 of 15 games, averaging 12. Uh, average job for reception, 8. So, we'll see what happens. There's another play I like. The uh, tight end for the Eagles, not Goddard, uh, Calcutta, or whatever his name is. They got his receiving yards at 5.5. He always gets like one, possibly two receptions. Uh, if he catches it, which he usually does, he's going to go over. Uh, like I said earlier, look out for the live the live bets. If you do live bet, be careful because if you're streaming it, and Thursdays we usually got to stream it, it's usually behind. So uh, just pay attention to that. Uh, check out the NBA video. Appreciate everyone. Ace Money the Name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.